So uh, once we got all that recorded, once we got our commentary and our game recorded, um, then we go to our editing, which is Sony Vegas 9.0. I use Sony Vegas. It's a it's a really good program, really really good for editing. Here I have uh, one of my prog my uh, my uh, projects up. It's a uh, God of War three. So uh, we're gonna go and find our clip, which is actually in uh, my videos. It usually saves to my videos. You could probably change that. There it is, right there. You just click drag it right onto uh, your timeline, and you could go ahead and edit it however you want. And then um, the next step after that, once you edit it, is uh, rendering. Now the render the render settings I'm gonna have to put it in the description. Uh, I guess I'll kind of briefly show you guys here. I, I render at main concept AVC HD, which is a dot .mp4. Here we got YouTube HD. Go to custom. Um, here we go. We got custom frame size 1280 by 720. Um, allow source to adjust frame rate. I usually check that. Uh, profile main frame rate uh, 30 frames per second or 29.970. And then we want to keep it at progressive scan. Number of reference frames, 10. I usually keep that at 10. I usually check the blocking filter. Um, and I usually check a very variable bit rate. Um, and then uh, here I got it at average 6 million BPS. And the maximum is 14 million BPS. So we go to uh, audio. I usually never change that. You don't really have to change it. And Beth in the the project, I actually render at preview. I know that sounds weird because you usually render at best or good. I render at preview because for some reason it actually gets you better results for uh, PS3 games. I don't know why, but you know it actually gives you sharper video footage. And well, actually, my capture footage is so good, it kind of makes up for it. So uh, there's my render settings. Um, time to show you guys the batch rendering. Um, here I got a bunch of regions inserted. Um, to re um, insert a region in Sony Vegas, you have to highlight a region like this, right click it, and click Insert Regions. That'll uh, create a region that you could batch render with. Here I already got a bunch of regions here. So I go to uh, File, actually it's uh, Tools, isn't it? Yeah, Tools, Scripting, and then, fuck, this is hard to hold a camera and do this at the same time. I'm even shaking it a little. And then we go to Batch Render. Uh, here you could choose where to save your batch of files. And you want to check off uh, render regions, which is uh, rendering all the regions into uh, different videos. And um, then you um, check off your uh, your video or your video render settings. So go to main concept, scroll down here, find YouTube HD, and then you hit OK. There it is rendering. Once it's done rendering, it's going to render each video one at a time. That way. You don't have to render them one at a time while sitting there. And then you finally upload them onto YouTube. Of course, I really don't, I shouldn't have to explain that step to you guys. It's pretty simple. Just go to upload and then upload video, find your video, upload it, title it, and everything. So uh, that's pretty much it for uh, my entire process of recording games and uploading them. Um, I hope this helped you guys, I, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, I guess.